We are Team K. The members in our team are Luke, Edwin, Andrew, Nick, and William. We would like to start this video off with a quick explanation of how our solar oven works. The aim of this experiment was to create a solar oven which has the ability to heat food to a temperature of 680 degrees Celsius in less than one and a half hours. The solar oven operates on the two base principles of radiation and magnification to heat up the food to 680 degrees Celsius. The first principle is that of radiation. It is at the very core of the solar oven project. The sole energy source of the oven comes from the sun in the form of radiation. The form of radiation that we are looking at is electromagnetic. Electromagnetic radiation includes the visible light and radio wave spectrum. The equation for the energy absorbed by our oven is stated as Q equals alpha times Boltzmann's constant times surface area times the temperature to the power of 4. Where Q is heat energy flow entering the system, alpha is absorptivity of material, sigma is Boltzmann's constant 5.67 times E to the minus 8, A is the surface area, and T is a surface temperature in Kelvin. The solar oven is also emitting its own energy stated as Q equals epsilon times Boltzmann's constant times surface area times the temperature to the power of 4. Where epsilon is the emissivity of the material. The aim of the design is to maximize the amount of radiation absorbed by the system and minimize the amount of energy emitted by the system. And therefore maximizing the heat energy flow into the solar oven and thus the food to be cooked. The second principle of the solar clock is magnification. Magnification is that the optical phenomena of a wide area of light rays being concentrated onto a smaller area. The lens that is used in the solar oven is a biconvex lens of 5 times magnification power. This type of lens causes the energy, usually light, to concentrate on a point on the opposite of the lens. The optical power or converging power of the lens is equal to 1 over the focal length. It has a SI unit of an inverse meter. Converging lenses, like that in the solar over, have a positive optical power whilst convex lenses have a negative optical power. A higher optical power, or diopter, means there is a higher energy density on the surface of the magnified object. A diopter of between a measurement of 15 to 18 is approximately equal to a magnification of 5 times. The lens used in the oven fits within this range. This thermometer has an inbuilt temperature gauge, so when it hits 60 degrees Celsius, it'll make a noise letting us know that 60 degrees Celsius is, is the temperature of the food. Um, so we are going to start now. We've got the clock here, we can kind of see. We're going to press start. And we're going to put this in the food. While we wait for the chocolate to heat up to 680 degrees Celsius we will explain how the solar oven was actually made. To start it off the solar oven had a cardboard filing box as its main structure. We then lined the box with aluminium foil. It kept moving around so we secured the foil in place using staples. Luke polished an aluminium mixing bowl so that it was as shiny as possible. The bowl was positioned in the filing box using blue tack to hold it in place so that it wouldn't move. We did consider trying to staple it down as well but we thought it might be a bit difficult to staple through a solid metal bowl. Plus we didn't want to ruin the shine that Luke had given the bowl. The next step was to position the magnifying glass so that the focal point of the light shone directly into the middle of the shiny metal bowl. We did this using the inbuilt stand and a little bit of blue tack. We couldn't get the chocolate to stay on the end of the thermometer as it kept melting off so we decided to improvise. A smaller bowl was constructed out of leftover folded aluminium foil because we needed something to hold the chocolate buttons in the correct place in the mixing bowl so that the light would always be concentrated on them. Andrew then pulled out his camera and tripod to record the solar oven and we placed Will's iPad in the frame of the camera so that it was obvious to us and whoever watching the recording would time the oven hit 60 degrees. Lastly we used an electronic meat thermometer that had the option to preset a desired temperature. When the oven reached the temperature, 
The meat thermometer would begin to beep to tell us that our chocolate had reached the 60 degrees. We hadn't actually managed to get it to beep before the recording of the video so it would have been a bit of a fail had it not worked. We decided to use dark chocolate buns as our food of choice as it is the fastest melting chocolate. This is because it has high cocoa levels and less milk than other chocolates so it becomes a liquid faster. Liquid chocolate conducts heat better than solid chocolate as there's fewer air gaps. Surely before three minutes. So that means that it has reached 60 degrees in a time of two minutes and about 40 seconds. Thank you so much for watching our solar oven video. We hope that you learned something. Even if it is just that dark chocolate melts faster than other types of chocolate. Goodbye.